Have you ever wondered how to network better at conferences? This could be something that could be very important for your career. We're going to go over some strategies on this episode of Bite Size Brilliance. You may be wondering, hey, who is this guy? Hi, my name is Ken Okel. I am a motivational keynote speaker, and I talk to audiences about how you can improve your performance on the job, get better. I also write books. The most recent one, Get Better, Smart Business Advice from Unexpected Mentors. Let's talk about networking. Maybe you've seen those people, they go to a conference and immediately people are coming up to them, they're making deals, connections. For most of us, probably not that easy. It's just not necessarily our thing. At conferences, it's important to network with people, to find your peers, people who have maybe faced similar challenges or could offer you potential solutions to problems or just a shoulder that you could cry on if you ever hit a problem and you're really frustrated. Networking is important. What are ways that can help you? For some, it is that random thing. Hey, they just go there and they meet people. That's fine. If that works for you, great. A lot of events will have some sort of organized networking activity. It could be a cocktail hour that happens at the very beginning of the conference. Think of this a little like speed dating, where you have an opportunity, everyone's in the same place at the same time, you can go around, meet people, and make sure you're not just hanging out with the people you already know. It's good to reach out to people you don't know, see if they're a good match, that type of thing. Bring some sort of business card with you so that you're able to connect later. Don't count on bumping into them later on in an event because that may not happen. Some people live in fear of getting stuck in a long, dull conversation when it comes to networking. What they prefer to do is to try to make connections during event meals or maybe in the coffee line. The idea is you're not stuck with someone for too long. You can connect with them. If it seems like, ooh, this could be a valuable relationship, give them your card, continue the conversation later. That works pretty well for a lot of people. Might be worth a try. Finally, some people, they like to do the heavy lifting of networking before the event. They will try to reach out to people ahead of time to say, hey, do you have five minutes where you get together? I could ask you some questions or, hey, want to get together for a cup of coffee before the event starts? Because often people travel to an event, but the event hasn't started yet. There's an open window of time for those types of connections. Others may say, hey, quick cup of coffee on day one or day two, just trying to make that connection. But they do the work ahead of time to see hmm, who's attending and who might I want to meet. Often organizations will share attendee lists that may not be happening as much due to privacy concerns, but often events have some sort of social media page, like a Facebook, where you can go on and say, hi, I work in this field and I'm looking for people who do this type of thing. Anyone want to meet for a cup of coffee? So that way you can kind of set up some meetings with people. It's less random. You go in knowing, hmm, pretty good chance this is going to happen. Can help a lot. Networking is an important part of business. The connections you make can really shortcut your career. You do want to have a strategy. So think about what's the best fit for you. For more about me, hey, go to my website, kenokel.com. While there, you can see some clips from my speaking presentations. You can listen to my podcast, The Two Minute Takeaway. And you can find out more about that book of mine, Get Better. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ken Okel. Take care.